Australian rugby has had a terrible start to 2017. This Super Rugby Conference has been nothing short of abysmal. Today we have a crucial derby match between two Australian sides, a place where it is the only way Australian teams are getting points so far in the season. So this one becomes very crucial towards the success of any Australian progress. Hello everyone and welcome along to Cornflakes Crib, your home of Rugby Challenge 3 and the Super Rugby season for 2017. We're heading into round five here today with the Rebels up against the Waratahs and like we spoke of just a moment ago, this is where the Australian teams pick up points. Although it is amazing to think that no matter what happens here, an Australian team will pick up some points the way they've played so far, there looks to be no hope of them picking up to points against overseas teams. The Rebels line up with an, a good looking side with plenty of ability to cause some havoc with some explosive backline excitement as well, especially on the wings with Naivalu and Korobeti lining up on the 14 and 11 wings respectively. Debrasini, another option for them to run the show at 15. Garden Bashup has shown that he could be up to Super Rugby quality given the number 10 jumper once again. It's an experienced centre partnership with Hodge and English and a Ford pack that has plenty of power and know-how around the nitty-gritty of the Ford pack as well. Jordy Reid is a massive crucial part of this Rebels team and his form is going to go a long way to how this Rebels team perform. As for the Waratahs, the worst start to the season they could possibly hope for. Such an experienced and brilliant team on paper. They have seen nothing short of disappointment in 2017. Bernard Foley returns for a rare start for the Waratahs. He's had a season of letdowns and disappointments so far off the field. Now he needs to turn them into positives. They've finally put Israel Folau back at fullback where he shines to perform his best. And of course, the former Reese Robinson has been encouraging for this Waratahs team. Again, a very powerful forward pack with a lot of key names in there, none more so than the likes of Captain Michael Hooper. A solid front row as well that will sure to give the Rebels a test here at Amy Park. So some big points up for grabs here for these two Australian sides. Neither have a winning record here this season and well no Australian team for that matter does but we're underway and good to go here Rebels with the ball for the first time they quickly shift it out to English who takes the first contact and loses the ball to Hooper he's the man we spoke of in the start he's got the lane nicely to Sakopi Kempu who takes the first tackle now it's a run away from Gordon they finally find someone with that wide and it's a chance straight away out there for Reese Robinson he is taken down from Corin Benny, who of all people gets a right turnover before being dragged into touch by the Waratahs defence. Well, the lead convert showing he knows how a ruck operates. Amazingly, he's got a ruck turnover. Five minutes in. If any team has been on top and not straight throw now, it's given advantage to the Rebels. They are the team with the ball now, flying away to English. A terrible pass. But Fanga right there to lend support. Strazaka, the exciting captain. He's gone straight through. A stinky little run from the base of the breakdown. Waratahs get plenty of blue numbers there and they'll turn this ball back. Oh, a great little run by the captain. But he's driven down there Police. by the Waratahs defence. And now the Rebels go back on to the defensive side. There's a run away from Gordon. Police. Finds some stiff opposition. Here's Hooper trying to do it himself. An offload coming away here from the Waratahs. Police. Latu takes it to ground now. Hooper again doesn't go with Foley. He goes left side instead. And it's here for Hannigan. Release. Who didn't want to find Callaway. Went himself the blindside flanker. Still here with the Waratahs. And still short side. Terrible play from Gordon. An exciting prospect for Australian rugby. An aggressive running number nine. But he has been far off the mark there. As now we have a line out for the Rebels. They've gone to the middle. Sturzaka knocks on. That could have been the chance that they are wanting. Release. Just inside the Waratahs half. That was the big opportunity. Now they'll look to run it back. The Waratahs. Oh, Release. big tackle on Tolulatu has been smashed. Now Holloway tries to make an impact. But the ref says that it's enough. No advantage. We go back to the scrum feed Crouch. for the knock-on by Fine. Nick Sturzaka. 
Set. White Stars will feed it. And oh, the Rebels get a great first hit. They make turn this straight back over. This will be a huge turning point right now. They blew a chance from the line down set piece. Now they get another one. Murphy. Advantage. Oh, Murphy's trying to forward pass. Well, what a disappointment that is. All the hard work by the front row. And Murphy takes it off the back. Terrible play Ouch. from the Rebels. Find. Still nil-nil. 20 minutes into Shit. this one. Waratahs, another feed to the scrum. This time they get a better hit. Rebels fighting. Well, it looks like the Waratahs have sorted stuff out there. Their forward pack performs well enough to keep hold of the ball. Foley, first time I mentioned his name, he finds Hooper on the cut around, he's still going, Foley, he's got back up, here he is involved again, back inside they go, looking for Latu, oh, but Cullen Rotella turns over, and throws an intercept pass, before giving the ball away yet again, again, and a penalty goes to the Rebels, well, Scouting, not letting go of the ball in the tackle, look at Kepu, he is giving him a piece of his mind, and the Rebels, opting for a kick to the sidelines. That is a terrible kick there from De Brasini. It's gone end on end, bouncing towards the sideline with the breeze, but it is Hooper! Oh, terrible from Michael Hooper! Tried to be the hero, given the counter-attack chance, and he's cornered into touch, and the Rebels get the line out there after, after all. So now here's former Reds Hanson. He throws into the front. Retallick to Sturzak. A Garden and Bishop looking to run the show. Oh, big tackle. Massive hit from Bernard Foley. And this will be straight back to the Waratahs. That is a game-changing moment right there. Big opportunity. Now it's through Rob Horn. They try to pour their way through. It comes away for Dean Mum. Great pass for Latu again. Latu offloads. And it's around the corner. Holloway giving it back to Reese Robinson who stumped this one, big breeze in tow, and into the 22 and touch it goes. That is the advantage of a winger who knows how to punt a rugby ball. That is a massive 80 meter turnaround right there for the Waratahs, and still we sit nil-nil to the back, and Fang gets away, Sturzak is out the back, Garden Bits have got look for Corabetti, but he only finds Police. Foley in the middle of the park and straight away we come back to the Waratahs Callaway great pass finding Michael Hooper but Garden Bishop turns it over and look where support is they're stunned the Rebels done it with the ballers and the Waratahs turn it straight back this is getting silly now by the, uh, the Rebels Waratahs have been given all the chances they need to score they just cannot find a way through the Rebels backwards on attack here but they still find Please. themselves with plenty to do on defense because their faces with ball in hand are not lasting Dean Mum Release. trying to go for a bit of a run through the middle he's put down quickly Gordon away to Holloway no way through there Latu oh Latu gets put down again this time it's Sayaga now it's English to Corabini back to Garden Bishop here we go it's Chantal to the Rebels Garden Bishop goes alone Grubbers over the top Reed Gavins as well how about that by the young fly half? It's back there for Corabetti. Away to Reese Hodge. Hodge through the first line. Looking to link up. Somehow sprouts it out. But it's given away. And back it goes. Eventually, Hall going to Horn. Now it's back to Debrasini. He sprouts a miracle looking ball out. Garden Bassett waiting, looking for Release. some support. And he just gets there in the nick of time as well. Still, the Rebels look to attack. It's Hansen going for a rear run here again. Hodge goes straight through once more. Full out the back. Shuts him down and no one really keen on joining that ruck. Still there for Hansen. He's looking for Naivalu. Here's the speed race. It's a big one. Can he get here? Hodge, no. He won't touch him. And away will go Naivalu. It's the opening try. It's almost 10 minutes after the halftime buzzer. But it's the opening score. What a disappointing effort from the Waratahs defence. Horwood should have had that covered every day of the week. But he just couldn't keep up. There was the speed of Naivalu. Just enough. And along come Callaway to help out. He couldn't cut the angle quick enough. And in guys, Naivalu. Opening try. Great foresight there from Hansen to open up that short side to his winger. 
The rebels have threatened. The Waratahs have threatened. But finally, someone has put one down. Been some exciting play by both teams. This man here, Rhys Hodge, has definitely set the game alight in the latter part of the first half, but he has been shut down after breaking the first line by Israel Folau twice. That will be doing his confidence no good, but he's got a shot at goal to give his team a 7-0 lead. Going into halftime, we are almost up to the hour mark on the clock. 55 minutes gone, but Rhys Hodge stays composed, puts it over, and at a 7-0, Rebels over Waratahs. A late try, giving us the first points of the matchup. And we are good to go for half time. So 7 0 the scoreline. The Rebels have had the pick of the match so far, though. 62% on possession, but territory didn't even 50 to 50. There's no picking between the two of them, and the way this game has gone, finishing is going to be so important if either team is going to add to the scoreboard. Both sides have broken the line a number of times, but never had the composure or the support play to put a finishing piece into the try line. Handlinger is running pretty high there for the Rebels, 10 from the first half. The Waratahs, on the other hand, have been pristine with zero, but... The only one that matters is the top one, and it is the home team, the Rebels, who lead this one under blue skies here at Amy Park. Can they hold on in the second half? Will we see one of the great Australian upsets here if the Rebels can pull this off against the Waratahs? So the Rebels haven't won a match yet this season, and they have the breeze at their back as they look to continue this lead here against the Waratahs who are having a season well, they would like to forget sooner rather than later. Hodge picks up a desperate pass. Garner Basham, he can't get it to English. But somehow Corabetti fills it in. Fanger finds a loose ball out wide and he gets it back to Hansen. Hansen back inside to Cummins. And a charging run there from the second row. Finds the Rebels right on the 22. Sits up there for Saga. Going to Garden Basham. Here's Jordy Reid. It opens up. It opens up for Jordy Reid. And he goes all the way. What a try from the blindside flanker. We spoke about how important he is, but the earth just opened up in front of him and the defence split like a great Red Sea. And through he went. The dreadlocked wonder. Look at this. Just cracked straight down the middle in between Robinson and who was that Foley, I presume, on the outside. We have to have another look here. Those flashy boots, the red boots, look at them backtracking, backtracking, backtracking. Too late to recover for now. He was guilty as well. He was sliding across and Reed just said, oh, I'll just have a go. And look what happened. A great try. The second of the match for the Rebels. And they continue to build on that first up try. They've created plenty of chances. Now they're starting to put some away. Five minutes into the second half, Rhys Hodge, well, he sends this one almost to the roof of the stadium. And you'd presume that is over. The sticks don't even go that high. But it's caught over by the uh, assistant referees behind the sticks. So we are 14 0. Rebels over the Waratahs. A great try from Jordy Reid. And he adds on to the first one from Naivalu as up goes kickoff. Saga gives it and step all away. And this is a real good chance now for the Waratahs. Great ball wide from Skelton. He's given it to Rob Horn. He knows Please. his way to the try line. They are just seven or eight metres out now. They look short side. Big head. Stonesacker. Doing a bit of damage there. Still there. And it's Latu again. Boy, Please. oh boy. Latu has been absolutely drilled a number of times in this match already. Now Robinson, the man who got skinned, has conceded that last try. Tries to make up for it, but goes nowhere but sideways. Latu once more. It's only the same men getting involved. Robinson once more, still involved in this play. Are we going to see some backs now? Gordon goes away. It's Kipu this time. Well, the big numbers Grace. aren't wanting to get involved in this play. They're leaving it to the big boys. Here's Holloway. Pick and go. They're going slightly backwards here, the Waratahs. Hooper. <laughs> He's a little bit close to the sideline, but he gets a good run over the advantage line, but turnover ball. Tempercini, Atlanta Murphy, Fang, looking for Garden Bashup. He knows he's all alone out here. He drills this one on his left boot. He's got Reese Hodge, but the wind is far too strong for any hope of that one staying in. And it finds touch on the left side. Good kick, though, from Garden Bashup. 
judged it nicely with the wind and gets his team out of trouble as we inch towards the hour mark yet again. Here is Latu. He's probably got sore ribs after the amount of punishment he's been taking today. And wide comes the Waratahs through Callaway. He's got away from English. He gets away from Naivalu. He's created a lot of space here, Callaway. But he gets put Police. down. A good tackle coming in from Debrasini, who's up on the line now defensively. Skelton throws it back inside and Hawitz gets a nice ball away. Eventually he finds the hooper. And now come wide once again. Ding Mum. Good pass went folly. They keep it going out there for Horn. Rob Horn. He's away from one. Looks inside the dummy. Defend the goal away. He goes twice again. Gets the ball to Rex Robinson. But it is Hansen. Oh, goodness me. Not quite fully controlled there by the hooker. And he plummets it onto the boot. It's a saving grace for the knock on. And it goes straight to touch. So a line out here for Latu. Again. Keeping those ribs intact for him. To the front, stolen! Good turn over there, it goes away for Tullock. He's got a massive way to Murphy. The big number eight storming through. Takes it, goes away to Fanger. And Fanger could be away. Could come away, catch him. He does. English and support. Looks for a support of his own. Novalu, Tareen. It's all desperate here for the Rebels. Stozaka, he comes away back with it and he will put it to ground. The captain doing the responsible thing here. He relies on his force to get it back for him. Now it's Saga going wide. Ratalik, big man, big charging run there from the second row. Here's the touch isolated. Finally, the Rebels come and help the big man out. Oh, it could be trouble here. The Waratahs, there's massive room here on the right hand side. And it's spotted there from Flanga. He's put a little kick in there for Corabetti. It's dived on in the back from Callaway. Interesting tactic there of all people to be doing a kick. Here's Dean Mum, he's taken in a good Race. tackle. Strazak are doing some work there with Jordy Reid. It goes back to Rob Horn, who tries to carve off as much meters as he can, but only gets it to the 22. Yeah, Hooper's got a few things to say here. His team's not performing as well as he'd like. 14 0 behind, eight minutes left on the clock. Hansen goes to the one jumper. There is a Strazaka! Strazaka puts on the afterburners! And Nick Strazaka puts the icing on the cake. It's been all Rebels this whole match. They've lifted themselves brilliantly for this game. They've struggled at, play, at places, but they've got themselves out of a lot of trouble. And Stranzaka, one chance. And he even goes right to the corner to mock Israel full out. Great line out move here. They went for the three men, and you just had to think is something on here? Out wide, possibly? Bigger numbers in midfield? No. It was all a ploy. A ploy to go wide and a ploy to see Stanzaka with more space at the back of the line out. A superb play. And that one's straight from the training ground. As basic as it was, it's the movement outside him. They really put him in the place he needed to be. So Rex Hodge way out on the left-hand side. Big breeze as well coming right onto his right-hand shoulder. He judges it beautifully. He has kicked superbly tonight, Reese Hodge. And he gives his team a 21 0 lead. I can't believe the Waratahs haven't even scored here today. They've had chances, first half especially, but the latter parts here of the second half, they have been well and truly encamped in the Rebels 22, yet haven't come away with any Good points. Advantage. Oh, we speak about that. Sturzhacker puts away a shocker. Knock on off the kickoff. Now we got a chance for the Waratahs. A little bit of a handsy pansy stuff going around the corners, keeping it left and right. But they finally get some continuity into the play. Hooper is finally taken to ground. Beginning to wonder there if that was ever going to stop. Now they go to Skelton. And we are going back for the knock on. No advantage, says the referee. Scrum feed Waratahs. Fine. And with only a minute left on the clock, you've got to say this is Set. the last chance the Waratahs have to score. It won't affect the game at all. And that's a great scrum for the Waratahs. Boy, they really bulldozed their way over there. They go to Foley. Foley goes to Hortz. Going to Callaway. Good tackle, Stranzaka. Boy, he Release. covered a lot of ground there, did Stranzaka. He's pumped. He knows his team has done the job here. Gordon. Way to Mum, giving a good pass away. Here's Skelton again back inside. They go to Dean Mum. Release. Throwing a lot of men into these breakdowns. Other Waratahs as Foley goes a bit of a trick himself, but he's given it to Laurie Weeks. A good turnover. And Reese Hodge looking to put a little bit of salt into the wound of the Waratahs. Stanzaka. Stanzaka spots room. Spots room on the short side. Looks to make them pay. But a great tackle coming across. I think it might have been Flau who's 
desperately trying to backtrack. How long will we go on here? The Rebels know they've won this one. A huge pass out to Hodge. He repays it back to Fanga. Fanga goes a floater. But it misses everyone. He was looking for Corabetti. But he only found the sideline. The Rebels, though, have done the unthinkable. A terrible start to the season for the Waratahs. Well and truly continues here. They have been put to rest by an efficient Rebels performance. Some exciting play, some quality finishing, and some insightful decisions has led this team to a good 21-0, three tries to zip victory over the Waratahs. And this season just goes downhill even more. The Waratahs look completely without direction here in 2017. 21-0 the final score. It was tries to Reed, Sturzaka, and Naivalu, one apiece, all converted by Reese Hodge, giving them 20 one point. So Waratahs, Zippo for those guys, nothing to tell for their 80 minutes. Possession was in the event, eventually nudged out by the Rebels, 58 to 42, but it was Waratahs who took a slight advantage on territory. Big tackle count as well, well over 100, which always means plenty of big hits. Got a feel for Latu, the Waratahs hooker, who took some massive punishment throughout today's game. Line breaks near the bottom, tells me one thing, the Waratahs could not even finish a biscuit, let alone a three-course meal. Six line breaks, there was only one less than the three try rebels got. So you've got to say, finishing the big difference maker today in this matchup. That is round five of Super Rugby. The Waratahs going down in a screaming heap, and this season almost looks on life support after this early stage of the season of Super Rugby. And then it's my time done and dusted for this week's Super Rugby match of the weekend. Oh, back again for round six. As always, I hope you all enjoy these matches. If there's a special one that you thought was a cracker of a match you'd like to see, do let me know in the comments below and we can replay it out just like this one. The Rebels have hit some good form but still cannot full out a full 80-minute display. That is all I have time for today. I'll see you all next time. Until then, take care.